Okay. Let's get our dinner cooked. Y'all ready? Tonight we're making lasagna soup. And we're going to start with one of these big old cans, 28 ounces crushed tomatoes. Now, I would have used diced tomatoes, but I sent the kids to the store and they forgot them, so we're using what I got. All right. Now I need my basil. Excuse me, butters. Let's just rinse this off a little bit. And we're going to put them in this food processor. With Jamie our Mills from Wyoming. Tomatoes. Hey, Miss Jamie, are you freezing, girl? You know, we got another storm or something coming, Michael. I am scared. Something just come on the phone. I think the majority of our Christmas stuff is done. Yep. Alright, need to take down the tree outside. Ugh, forgot about that one. Huh? Forgot about that one. Yeah, it won't take long. It's just... Maybe our backyard looks like something that's a horror film. I know. Like, our backyard is horrible because it's been raining. It's muddy. Then we bought that hay for the... You know, when it got real cold. And Jimmy Dean has just drunk it all over the yard. He likes it. He can lay down anywhere in the hay. He does like it, though. Okay. Don't take it too long doing this. Let's just... And another thing I might do for the summertime, huh. I might see if we can buy, like, a little fan that we can plug in mm -hmm. and put a fan in the corner of that thing. We are not keeping that thing right there in the summer. <sighs> wow. It's gross. Hey, wow. Okay. And he needs a place to get away from the bugs. He'll probably want to come back inside in the summer. It's hot out there. Um, I'm sure he wants to come inside in the winter too, though. I don't know, Michael. I don't think he gets cold. And that one time he, he did get cold, he came to the door. Chris has said, my goodness, I put Tony's on some scrambled eggs yesterday morning and woohoo! That's it, spicy and good. Yes, it that, is. You don't have to put a lot now. <laughs> yeah, if you're not used to spice, don't use a lot. Michael, can you do this for a second? I'm, um, I feel dizzy. I, I think it's because I'm hot. That's hot up here. You want to walk? Huh? I just want you to. Alright, let's have that for a minute. Alright, let's have only Italian sausage if you want to. I told, I mean, y'all know this, that I'm just not a huge Italian sausage fan. I've already drained, browned this meat with my onions and um, my cut up vegetables and drained the meat. So, 
Oh, and I just start adding my ingredients. I don't know. He has holes in his shirt. Y'all, he has other shirts. He just likes them. And he actually has like 15 of those. Stir that around a little bit. Oh man, I forgot to tell him to get raw. I'm sorry, I think I got something. I actually don't know if I do because I think I used it. So, Angela asks, What is the time difference? Um, it's 7 30 here. Yeah, 7 30. Now we're going to add a can of whole peeled tomatoes. Like I said, I would have used dice, we don't have them, and um, shoot, I forgot what I was saying. Okay, and I want a little bit of a chunk in my tomato. So I didn't want to dice these up. I mean, you know, puree them, whatever you You don't have to do that. That's okay. Oh man, I just used my face rag to wipe the counter. Oh well. Okay, so let's stir that up. That looks yummy. We're making lasagna soup. We're gonna add. Angles and organ. Another can of peeled tomatoes. This time I might go ahead and. Let me use the food processor. If I were making this for somebody like besides the family, I would not put these big chunks of tomatoes in here. But because it's for us and because I like them, we're going to go ahead and put them in there. I don't know if I've ever done it on live. I'm talking about just for the family. Uh, yeah. I don't need it to be smudged, like, you know, it don't have to be all chopped up, so I just ran it for a second. Throw that in there. I did it, though. I chopped them up. All right, let's give it a stir. I bet that is so loud because I have my volume turned all the way down, but I can hear it when you turn that thing. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, good clown. Do you allow your girls to wear crop tops? Um, <clears throat> I don't know how to answer that. But they, a short answer is no. Natalie, you know, she don't live here. She does what she wants. And I think, oh my God, my Kristen said you're not right. Drink some water or coke. So I told you I got this water right here. Michael, I, I had a jar of uh, pesto somewhere. I'll find the pesto if you drink some water. Yeah, hold me on that. The short answer to that is no. I don't let them wear it. Um, they they it's hard to find a sweater now that covers your whole body. Then, which I don't understand. If it's cold enough to wear a sweater, it seems like you'd want your whole body covered, but... They try and wear it, but you got to get through me first. Oh, God, it was hot. It's hot in here. I mean, it's very hot in here. Mm -hmm. It's freezing in the house. I have the air set to like 70. I'm not saying that. We'll get under that pesto. Dang it. I know we have one too. I saw it's a little kid. I'm gonna haul it to Caroline because she can't find anything. Caroline Grace! I 
already found it. I don't know why it's in the refrigerator. I have no, no idea. <laughs> Last time I drained some of that oil off, I'm not going to do that this time. You don't want your water from Huh? You don't want this water from me? Yeah. Put some vegetable broth in here. But I forgot to tell him to get it. So we're just gonna add some water. Karen it says, do you ever have this cereal for dinner? Sometimes. Sometimes we have cereal, and this is my cereal bowl. Yeah, right. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to add some water. This is the same food processor that I put up those tomatoes. Alright, so we're going to let that cook and marry. One thing I did not put in here that I want to is a little bit of garlic. Oh, that looks good. Alright. We're going to put this on the stove and we're going to let it come to a boil. Let me add a couple little things of garlic. Ooh. I just want to get in this refrigerator. I think I'm going to have a hot flash. When that comes to a boil, we're going to add our lasagna noodles in there. Which means I'm going to turn that up a little bit. I'm also adding in about two tablespoons of, well, maybe just one, of garlic. Sherry said, Kelly, I just started watching you and love your recipes. I heard that Big Daddy had an accident a while back and wondered what happened and how he was doing. Essentially, he took a cannonball to the face. Um... A valve blew off a truck and hit him in the face. <clears throat> Can I just say, it is not fun dealing with a work-related injury. They give us so much crap, they keep denying his surgeries and denying his care. And I just, I'm going to bring you guys over here. Which I don't understand because, I don't know, I just don't understand them. Oh God, hold on. Leave that garbage can. Come on. There we go. Good job, baby. Let's see. All right, there we go. Oh my God, bro. What's in the Oh, really? God, we haven't had that in a minute. Yeah, 930. We haven't had that in a long while. Y'all, this is going to be good. It's lasagna soup. Kelly, I think you need to remake your black eyed peas that you did for New Year's. Because that was something good. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. The, uh, the family sure did tear up them black eyed peas. And your bread. Yeah, I made some of those. I'm going to actually make a pre-report for that. That is my friend Lisa from Brown Eyed Girls. That's her recipe. Okay, this ain't boiling yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. We're just going to break them up into little pieces like this and drop them in there. Once these noodles are out dente, I guess you could say. I need more water because these noodles are actually going to absorb a lot of this liquid. Um, once they're cooked, we're going to add in some heavy cream. Boy, these things are really kind of hard to break. It just makes me so mad. You know, like, how dare 
And it goes for any insurance company, whether it's Wharton Comp or whatever. But how dare they come back and say, no, you don't, you don't need that. When our doctor says, hey, you need this. It just aggravates me. I'm sure a lot of you do understand. I know you do, because when this accident first happened, a lot of you reached out and messaged me and told me, you know, basically, get ready. And one of your followers was a while ago, um, said soy helps a lot less. Oh, really? Yeah. Helps? Soy helps. I mean, can you just buy, like, soy vitamins, or is it... I'm going to add a little more water. Because, like I said, those noodles are going to absorb a lot of that liquid. Sure does look pretty, and y'all can't see nothing. Let me see if I can get y'all over here. Uh, you can't get much further. Maybe I can lift this up. Here we go. Better? I don't know. You tell me. I'll see when it updates. At least they can see in the stove. I meant in the pot. How pretty that is. It smells so good. Jamie Mills said she's been dealing with them since 2017. David and I had her last surgery. So she went through now her entrance, now her attorney, and, not, and her had to go in front of a medical mission to fight them. They want to pay for her meds, oh crap, procedures, physical therapy, doctor's performance, nothing. Yeah, I'm not thrilled with these things before. My friend, her husband, um, was had an accident at work, and he got burned really bad. I mean, the poor man almost died. 60% of his body was burned. And... I mean, come on, that's more than half your body. And they were trying, they were denying life-saving procedures. That poor guy was in the hospital for like six months. And they would deny stuff. For him. How, do you, how do you do that? How do you deny it? I don't get it. Somebody wants to know what brand food processor you're using. Oh, it's a ninja. So uh, on it, I have that little small attack like goes on it and then I have the big blender that goes on it too and I have attachments where it's like little cups so if I just needed to do like a cup size like a smoothie I could just make that so I bought it at Sam's and it came as a set I really want to taste that somebody said are they supposed to be commenting on here or on the website it's on the website right? it's on the website but it I mean if you comment here it's fine you can comment here if you want to about the the critter but you'll only be entered to win the contest if you go on the website and comment the problem i know the problem is the problem is is that i don't get the recipes up there in time for y'all to go comment and i don't know how to fix that problem So, mm -hmm. well, she really says, I love watching your videos. I read your websites about each individual family member. Can you please have Ethan play the guitar one night? You and Mike are so enjoyable to watch all your children are beautiful. I don't know. What, you think he would do that or you think he's too shy? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll ask him to, but I'm not going to make him. If he wants to, he can. I don't know if he'll do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Such a big pot. And I keep messing with it. All right. Krista said, when is the contest in? Actually, it should have ended yesterday, but... Um, what is today, Michael? Today is the second... I know, but what day of the week? Today is Monday the 2nd, the day that the LSU Tigers defeated Purdue. Okay. In a 6-3-7 victory. While that's coming to a boil, let's go back over here. And we'll just turn it this way. No Tigers. Because we're going to make... <laughs> um, I don't know 
there with you. Focus. Trista said, is he going to bust out with Metallica? You know, Tristan, he really likes 90s music like Metallica. He also loves older stuff like The Doors and The Beatles. Yeah, but who's that one that he loves? Nirvana. No, oh, he loves Nirvana. <laughs> Which concerns me a little. Let me tell you why. Because he, like, idolizes that dude. Mm. Sharon said her granddaughter spilled boiling hot water down her chest last week. Oh. Second and third degree burns. Bless the that. The not doing anything. She's 16. Bless that baby's heart. 16 year old baby. Oh, well, they have to the Ohio her. State all the way. Did they win today? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, that, my friends, is ricotta cheese. And I'll put it on a little. And on one of my lives the other day, I'm going to show you all this. Somebody asked me kind of a silly question. Some, I was using this to scoop out something, and they were like, oh, my God, is that a litter, a kitty litter <laughs> scoop? No. I got this at Hobby Lobby, and it is one of the best things I've ever bought. Love it. I also bought this at Hobby Lobby the other day. Look at that bad boy. It's a spatula. Excited about that. All right. Now, I wanted to use my little musher thing, but I can't find it. Well, I cannot believe You know Tulane beat USC, right? No. Yeah, I can't believe that. So this is ricotta cheese. Some of you like it. Some of you do not. Again, you don't have to do this part. I gotta keep going over there so I can stir my pot. I don't want my noodles sticking to the bottom. Did I pick the colors for the kitchen? No. I really think, y'all are gonna kill me, but I really think I might just go with white again. What? Because, here's my thought process, Michael. We're selling this house, and, you know, as soon as we can, mm -hmm. right? So we gotta pick a color that's everybody's gonna like. If we do that gray color, might as well paint them white. It's so light, we're gonna have the same issue. So, I don't know. Okay, <clears throat> back to what I'm doing over here. Come on, pot boil. If I didn't want it to boil, it'd be boiling right now. Okay, this is some Parmesan cheese. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit in here, mix it together. And I really wish I would have saved some of that basil to put in here, but that's okay. I know they're asking about your little silos, but you have the care of turn a different way. I got those at Hobby Lobby, too. I have measuring cups in one of them. I'm going to use them as storage. I'm just going to put all this cheese in here. Now, you said she wants to do white on her cabinets. Is it a pain? Yes. I don't love it. It's pretty. It is pretty. And this but... is a white. This is more of a cream color. It's whatever it was when we bought it. But, um, you know, in the kitchen, your hands get dirty and greasy, and it, it just shows up. Like, if you touch a counter, and we got kids, that's part of the issues. And the bottom cabinets, especially, is what I hate. Is it, they get so dirty. I have to get down on the floor to clean them. And that's not as easy as it used to be. Too fat, I guess. So all I'm doing is mixing my ricotta cheese. You know, when the, the broccoli pie turned out? I didn't was, post it. Let me tell you why. I liked it. I thought it was disgusting. You didn't like it at all? I don't, but I, I haven't been feeling that great. I liked it. So my taste buds, like things that I normally like, um, I don't know. So, I don't, I don't know. I, I did not like it. That's why I didn't post it. It was good. I don't want y'all to go buy the groceries and make one of my recipes. And it's, I don't know. He says he liked it. Okay, it was good. But if we're doing an award-winning recipe book of definite do-overs, that's not the one. That's something I would eat.
But I wouldn't beg you to make. Yeah, that's one of those things. If I made, he'd be like, "Oh, broccoli pie." You're like, yeah, yeah, I'd be like that. But if you like, let's say you did. Remember your chicken salads you used to do? Yeah, yeah. I got a gnat in here. A gnat. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of hot out. Shoot, God, it's hot as oh, get out in here. All right, so I mixed a little mozzarella. I'm gonna keep some because they're gonna probably want to put it on top of their um thing. But you know, if you didn't have kids and dogs and I don't know. Maybe. I think it's real pretty. It's just a lot. Constantly wiping them down. But you're probably going to have to do that no matter what color. I'll tell you what. When we bought this house, the walls in this kitchen, like back there, that is not, a, like it's, it's a Famica. It, the Famica goes all the way to the ceiling. Only in the kitchen. Not in the dining room. And I thought I was going to hate that. I was like, God, I'm going to redo that kitchen as fast as possible. But it's easy to wipe down. But I do love it. I actually love it. Okay. What's the name of the tiny pasta noodles you use sometimes? Tiny pasta noodles? I don't know if they're talking about the little macaroni ones, or the ziti, or... I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe orzo? Mm -hmm. Michael, see if they're chewing on something in there. They're not, man. Let me stir my pot. They're playing. <coughs> Sound like they were chewing on the couch. They're wrestling on the carpet, man. done we're gonna add in some half um yeah the critter was here it was in a different angle um we're gonna add in some heavy cream to that but when we serve it everybody's wondering about you wondering about me because you, you're all red like that it looks gross but you're gonna put your soup over it and it'll melt and be pretty wondering about me like I don't know. It's just hot. That's all. It's just hot in here. We're making lasagna soup. Uh, who asked that? Miss Lisa. Chrissy kind of looks like rice. Nope, it's all cheeses. Ricotta cheese, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of mozzarella. Karen wants to know when the kids go back to school. Uh, not to the 11th, I think, huh? Something like that. Crazy. Um, let's check my pot again. Ooh, that light is something. Somebody said, when are you moving? We're not moving for a while. No, we're not moving for a while. We got, we want the kids to finish going to school. And Ethan is a sophomore. Mmm. I love cheese. So, that's what we're waiting on. Kids to graduate. Angel hair noodles with Alfredo sauce. Mmm. Yeah, that was, I like that too. I like angel hair pasta, period. <laughs> could you just put the cheese in the pot? Uh, well, you could, but it would melt. Krista said, go wet your hair and you'll feel better. Go wait. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I never did see if we hit a thousand. We're at 955 right now. That would be awesome if we did. We haven't hit a thousand in a minute. Look at how messy my kitchen looks in that. Shot. Well, so we're going to Tennessee, right? And Kim said she was at a miniature pony farm today. Oh, I'm jealous. Um, Tennessee is definitely an option. Wes said that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was like, how did they know? And then, I don't know, because uh, do we have to wait for Allison to graduate? Ask Wes. Mm -hmm. I hope not.
Because Allie's not even in high school yet. She said she's the one that asked about the pasta. She said it looks like rice, but you say they're pasta. Oh, it's orzo, yeah. yeah. There you go. I think that's what she's talking about. Ooh, Tina. Damn, see, this girl's after my heart, dude. Tina Fey? Uh-huh. What'd she say? She told me what's for dinner tonight. What'd she say? Whataburger is for dinner. Oh, God. He loves him some Whataburger, girl. She lives in Texas, Michael. They got one on every corner over there. <coughs> mm-hmm. Big Daddy used to have to travel some for work, and he, oh, God, he had to go to Texas a lot. And every time I talk to him, what are you doing? I'm getting Whataburger. But I feel like she's talking about something else. I don't know. She said it looks like rice. Yeah. Orzo, it does look like rice. But, but you tell them it's, cheap. it's rough. Apostle. I made something the other day and put it in it, but I don't really remember what it was because I'm drawing a blank. Yep, the king cakes are out. And I, I think hey, we could ship king cakes to winners. We might need to get one. I got Natalie a set of those bowls. That y'all, Not that bowl, but... A set of those um, Pioneer Woman bowls. Yeah, Brenda, um, Terry was live, I think, the day before yesterday with the kids cooking. My pot's boiling. It's just my needle didn't cook yet. Ended up with lasagna in the crock pot instead of soup. <laughs> but it's okay. You made my cornbread for New Year's. Have you made a king cake? That is something we probably will not do. Um, did I do a cornbread recipe? Mm. Unless she's talking about corn pudding. Couscous is tiny pasta, yeah. But I didn't cook anything with couscous. Did I? I don't ever remember you cooking anything with couscous. I made something recently. Tammy said you had 1,000 people last night. I did? I didn't go live last night. Yeah, that's all I was just saying. We didn't go live last night. Yeah. No, I we did our um, our New Year's part, New Year's Day party. I can't even think straight, Michael. I'm losing my mind. We did our um, New Year's dinner yesterday. And... So we had a bunch of people over, so I didn't do lives. Kristen said she watched uh, one of Terry's lives and she never came back like she said she thought. Maybe something happened to her. Mm-mm. I haven't talked to her today. Allie just said love you. Allie can't, my little boo-boo. Um, I haven't talked to her today, but... I'm waiting for my noodles to cook so that I can turn it down. Corn I don't want to pull. Corn pudding is what she made. Corn pudding. Yes, that's good. <coughs> I do love that corn pudding. Terry's the one that introduced me to that stuff. Michael, Melissa made a casserole last night and I didn't even see what it was. What was it? Who made it? Melissa. I made a casserole? Uh-huh. I didn't see it. I didn't get any of it. I don't remember what it was. I actually, after cooking all day, I was so tired I didn't even eat last night. Charlotte wants me to tell you some vitamins have uh, things in it that can make you flush. I don't think it's that. I think it's just a hot drink. Yeah, I'm not, I have, I'm not really taking it. And it's hot in here. Big Daddy takes vitamins, not me. I don't like swallowing pills. Obviously, that's why I have so many kids. Alright, now we're cooking. <sighs> and you said good. your best dessert was your blueberry white chocolate bread pudding. That thing is good. I need to go find that video and write down that recipe so we can make it again. That one is good. Brenda said she made Allie's recipe and loved it. Allie, you hear that? Linda said, what is the name of your blog and where can I find it? 
MrsMunson.com. Michael, I really need to make you an admin so you can pin stuff for me. You know why he doesn't want to be an admin on the page? Because he says we get too many notifications. And we do. But. Yeah, her, your phone goes off so much, i got to get up in the middle of the night and flip it over. Well, I usually try to flip it over because it will keep you up. The light, the face, the face lights up. Come on, noodles. Get to cooking. Mama's hot. Woo! Hooey! Mm. Y'all like my apron? Big Daddy put on my heart apron er earlier. It was a sight to see. <laughs> I told him to show y'all, but he's wearing his old ratty shirts, and he knows y'all hate that. You know they're mean when I wear Michael, I had one woman message me, um, or maybe she didn't message me, I don't know, she said, you always wear cute clothes, but I think you need to buy Big Daddy some new ones. I said, I do buy him clothes. But he's very picky. You know how, um, I don't know if you've ever had any experience with a child who has, um, <laughs> autism? But they're very sensitive to, like, tags and the way things feel. That's how he is. He, he makes me cut all the tags out of everything about him. You know, I get it from my grandpa, but he was worse than me. Like the socks, he would turn the socks inside out because the little fuzzy things, he could feel those. That little line? Those little fuzzy things. The little line that sews the toe together, is that what you talking about? No, Kelly, the little fuzzy things. You know when you flip your sock inside out and they're fuzzy on the inside? I don't think I have that, Michael. Yes, you. Everybody has that. Okay, they're cooking. They're not quite done yet. Okay, here's another secret I'm going to tell you. I'm not that great at pasta. And what I mean by that is, you Italian girls... Y'all know when it's out dente. Y'all know when it's done. No, do you remember? Because Linda posted in big bold letters, I do not hate Michael shirt. Was it her that said that? I don't know. I don't know if it was her. I mean, I don't blame you. I don't I don't particularly love his shirt either, but he, um, I'm too hot. I gotta take that off. All the holes are air conditioning. Uh, like, well, yesterday, it was just me and Michael and the kids home. But I was cooking for New Year's Eve before. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Before. Sure the store. Yeah. Well, all right. I'll... I just said you're sure because he was like, oh my God. Well, anyways, I was wearing a long sleeve shirt and I told Caroline, please go get me a t shirt. It don't matter what it looks like, just get me a t shirt. And I could, she took too long. I had to rip that doggone shirt off. I mean, I had, you know, a bra on, but. I just got so much hog on hot. I know y'all know what that feels like. I don't know. Just all shirts are different. Fabs are different. So when you get a shirt that's comfortable and you don't want to let it go, this shirt should be a rag, to be honest. But it's comfy. I'm going to say that this is al dente, even though I'm not sure. But I'm going to turn that down to a simmer, and now we're going to stir in some heavy whipping cream. Have I been saying half and half? Because that's not what it is. It's heavy whipping cream, and this is a small container, one pint. I think I got more in the fridge if I need it. Mmm, look at that. Ooh, Holly, what kind of, uh, kind of wrestling you watching? Oh, that was off. Holly said she's watching some wrestling. She watching some good old WWE on USA or what? I can't, I don't understand all them different. Shoot, I got half and half, but no. 
I thought I had heavy cream in here. Maybe I used it all. Cool. Chris has said, hot is hot. One night I had a hot flash and stripped off all my clothes and went out on my deck in the middle of winter. Yes. That's a, a, honestly, if you guys weren't here, it's probably what I would do. Well, this is not good. I'm going to throw that away. All right, well, that's all I... Hey, Kat says they tie-dye comfy shirts that get stained. That's not, that's not bad. I don't know if I can pull off tie-dye. Maybe you can pull off anything. Oh, shoot. Ugh. We got way too many condiments in here, Michael. <coughs> all right, well... I was going to add a little bit more, but it's fine. They really don't need it. Somebody said so they can't see the food. Oh, okay, hold on. That's why I don't like moving this thing around the kitchen. All right. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to turn it back up just a little bit and let that cook for a few minutes. I want to taste one of these noodles and see if it's done. No, I don't want it boiling though. Just a simmer. Well, if you're saying that like your shoes, and I picked those out. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. That's where you get those. They're on clouds, and I'm going to tell you, they're expensive, but worth every penny. They will last years though. My last pair, I would still be wearing them. But Caroline, I let her borrow them, and she ripped out, like, the, the thing that comes on the inside of it, like the, what is that thing called, Michael? The insole. The insole? See, you need to wash those and get them white again, and I'll spray them with that scotch guard. Babe, they're never white. They were cream colored. Well, I know, but it'll help them not get dirty. All right. Mm -hmm. so, this is you, so good. Those you noodles go, need to cook a little longer. You go over what you're doing. Alright, so first, I started with a pound of ground beef. No, two pounds of ground beef and a pound of Italian sausage. And I browned it with all my cut up onions and uh, bell peppers and seasoned it with a little bit of Tony Sacheries. Go easy with that. Um, and then, and a little garlic. And then you drain the fat off and put it back in here. And then you add, you could just add two of those big cans of um, diced tomatoes. Not the spicy one. But I didn't have it, so I used crushed tomatoes and whole tomatoes. Really and truly, you can use whatever you want. It's just the tomato base. Um, I put a jar of pesto in here. I put some fresh basil in here. What else, Michael? I don't know. Sure and then, once that comes to a boil and it's cooking really good, you drop in your noodles... Well, you don't have to wait for it to come to a boil. You, you drop your noodles in and then let those cook. Once the noodles are cooked, you turn it down and pour in your heavy cream. And then just kind of let it simmer. I'm just letting it kind of simmer so that my noodles will cook a little bit longer. But I almost can't wait because I want to show you all this so that I can go strip my clothes off and jump in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a duh. Okay. I'll, I'll lock you in there. Yeah, thanks. Alright, so we're going to serve this over our cheese mixture. I don't think I got one doggone noodle. I'm going to go fishing. Here we go. There we go. And, and there's you, our soup. What do you call it? Lasagna soup. Very easy.
very easy, yummy, yummy. It's good on a hot, uh, well, it's hot as I'll get out here, but it would be very good on a cold day. Um, yeah, I'm thinking, I don't even want to eat about that. It's so dang on hot. Mm -hmm. It is hot. You're I'm about, about to, to die when you do it. I am about to die because, whew, it's hot, hot, hot here. All right. So you just take a bite with your little cheese mixture. You don't have to have that cheese mixture if you don't want it. So but they're currently we like. doing CPR huh? on one of the Bills players on the field. CPR. Oh, no. Wow. They had a kid got hurt at the LSU game today, too. Pretty yeah, bad. this is CPR. Mm. So good. I'm going to tell you right now, this is delicious. Somebody said, what about cheese? I don't it's think they saw that. that ball. Look, this ball right here that I got in here is cheese. It has ricotta, parmesan, and mozzarella in it. But if you don't like all that, you can just put some mozzarella on top. Easy. Never put pasta in anything. Always cook pasta first, then rinse and strain it. Oh, well. I didn't know that. Probably a good old Italian lady. Not that you're old, but, you know, that came out wrong. An old-fashioned Italian girl gives me pasta tips, so I appreciate it. All right, guys, i got to go because I've got to go cool off here. They've been doing it for over 10 minutes. This spoon came from, that's terrifying. His wife is watching that and his family. This spoon came from Walmart. Now, I just got these. We'll oh, shoot. Show you this one. I got these at Hobby Lobby. It's dirty because I used it for the basil. And they're like rubber. Well, shoot, this one got hard. I, don't... I guess that one's a little different. But this one, see how it's like flimp, like... Whatever. I got that in the um 70% off like the day after Christmas. Because I think they're really like Grinch spoons or something. But they're really good. I love them. Whew. We do have an Instagram page. I'm not super active over there. Mostly because I forget. No one never cooks her pasta first. Well, I don't know. We'll try it both ways and see what happens. Tonight we did not. All right. I'm going to get out of here. I've got to go cool off. I will see you all very soon. Miss Elaine says she's old and Italian. <laughs> okay. We'll see you all very, very soon. Y'all have a great, great night.